How's it going? Chase Harper, and this is my incredible audience I have over here. Acting board of director. Okay, so good afternoon, ADC 99 board of directors, and I'm coming to you now to discuss the errors in last year's philanthropy coordinating your boxing event. Now, last year's event was pretty much a failure. It only raised about $600 and filled about half the seats for the venue. And some of the big overarching problems with this event in general were the overpaid insurance. And of the insurance, we had about three options and for some reason chose the most expensive one that had some pretty outrageous um, insurance coverage, which was totally unnecessary and extremely heightened up the cost of insurance. And um, not just that, but the marketing, there was poor marketing strategy and that barely even touched on the students at the local campus, not including the fraternity in Greek life, which is so prevalent at UNG's campus as well, and not even the athletes. So bre breaching out of them would increase overall profit and having everyone else show up would increase just community bondage. And um, not only that, but had we gone with some more sponsorships to be put in the newspaper, that could have gotten incredible publicity out to the community. So those, those few errors made a, made a substantial difference. And another one of the problems that happened with last year's event was there was a lack of corporate sponsors. And these cor corporate sponsors are, are ideal in lowering the overhead cost and overall producing a greater profit. And some of these sponsorships, um, which could be sold two to three hundred dollars, easy, easy. These local businesses are looking for these tax breaks, looking for opportunities to give back, and this is the perfect gate for that. So there was just a lack of going out to these corporate sponsors and making the initiative. Um, another thing that the last year's coordinator did not do was utilizing the entire venue. We used a small section with. She just lowered the expectations for the event. Make, walking into a massive stadium and only using a fraction of it is disappointing for the audience in general and just gives a very negative outlook on what they have and what could be done and the potential growth for it. So that's, that's what we're going to kind of move into and utilize the full venue next year. Um, for the fighters themselves, we have very low profile very low profile fighters such as just local community students and if we were to reach out and try to grab some bigger bigger publicity with our fighters such as doing a cops versus firefighters something that the entire community can get behind rather than just a select few college students where their friends and family are going to show up we can have mass amounts of local supporters either pro firefighter pro cop it doesn't matter we'll have people there at the event which would be so much better so much better than last year's event. Um, not only that, but we lost a substantial amount of money on the concessions that were provided, which was all out of Agency 99's pocket. Now, there's other ways we can incorporate food being at the venue without taking it out of our own pocket, such as hiring a local, getting a local restaurant to come in and collect all the profits and us just take a small, maybe 2 or 3%, and that's zero, zero cost on our part, and... If anything, that's just promoting their business. More reason for them to come out. Zero overhead cost for us. No loss on profits. And if anything, just guaranteeing, guaranteeing local support. So um, in conclusion, so last year's event was a failure. And based on the lack of marketing, lack of corporate sponsors, not utilizing the event, having low profile fighters, and loss on the concessions that we had, all led to this massive failure and I'm going to try to come in, step up and make this event incredibly, incredibly better than last year's event. So um, at this time, I would like my incredible audience to ask any questions that they might have. So anybody, anybody have any questions? What you got? Um, so you said uh, lower insurance coverage, won't that uh, put us in jeopardy? Won't we be, have a higher risk of getting sued by these fighters uh, if, we, if we're lower in coverage? That is. So of the three options, we chose the most expensive, which had the most insurance coverage on some extremely outrageous things that could potentially happen in a boxing match, such as double amputee insurance. 
Like, I'm not sure about you, but if, if you've ever seen an intense boxing fight, I don't think it's ever led to double amputee. So, such as those insurance covers will not be in this, this next option, which will significantly lower the insurance cost. All right. Now, if, if the audience has no more questions, then I'd like to just conclude my presentation. And thank you for your time. Thank you for your time.